Oh, Beth, where are you? Oh, let's just follow the little black trail of binding here. Oh, there she Hi, is. here I am. I am sitting with my what I learned over my summer vacation quilt because I live in New Hampshire. It rained for my whole two weeks of vacation. <clears throat> so here we are. This is my beautiful little quilt. These are all designs from the My Sonet Library. So I was just binding my little quilt so it would be done. And I was using my Viking binding attachment. And now I have other videos out there how to set it up, but it's been a long time since I've used it. And to tell you the truth, I was struggling. Like what was the piece of the equation that I was missing? So it actually looks pretty good. If you look at it, it goes on super fast and easy. I left long tails in case I want to tack down my little corner, but I mean, it's not too bad for how fast it goes on lickety split. Um, and so I thought I would show you guys what I learned. Cause that's what this quilt is all about is what I learned over my summer vacation. So here we go. I have two inches of bias binding. If you take a look at the video we did earlier, it'll show you how to make that. Super easy, just two seams. Um, and so I have it wound into my machine, fed in that way, and it winds through this little holder here. I did actually um, iron it with some stabilizer just no not stabilizer starch just to give it a little body but it's just regular kona cotton so here i go i'm going to take you guys through this process real quick down to the corner And so this is set on heavy woven to help with my tension. And all I have to do is keep the edge of my quilt. I went down the whole edge and just did a basting stitch just to make sure that my layers don't fold up on each other and I don't have any ripples. It's all laid nice and flat. So I did that ahead of time. But as long as I keep that quilt in that curve, it wraps my binding all the way around, folds it, my raw edges are turned to the middle and it wraps the binding all in one step. Okay, have you ever put on binding that fast, people? I don't think so. Okay, here we go. We're gonna come down to the end. And I'm going to hit stop and just tie off. But I am not going to hit cut. I'm actually going to put my foot up. And I'm going to pull my piece out. And I'm going to pull my upper thread and my binding thread. I mean my bobbin thread out so that I have these big long tails. I want to be able to come back in if I need to tuck something in later and have these tails to stitch with. So now, here's my little trick. I have this little piece of quarter inch double-sided tape. So I pull my little quilt binding out and I'm gonna make my corner. So I'm gonna start at the back, cause that's the hard part, right? So I'm gonna just fold that over, keep my tail out of the way, and I'm going to add this little piece of double-sided tape right to the back. And what this is gonna do is it not only is going to hold my corner in place, but it's also gonna keep that underneath part. That's the hard part, especially when you're turning a corner, is to keep that this piece, this bottom part of my binding, tucked in where it needs to be. So the trouble that people have is this will be shifted over and you won't catch it the first time and you have to go back and rewrap a little section and stitch it down. We don't wanna do that. We want it to be quick and easy. So I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna fold down my miter and I'm gonna tack that little bit down. So that's gonna hold that piece. Now I have another piece 
I'm going to do the same thing to the front. And see, you're never going to see that. I, and it's safer than pins because I'm not going to run it over and break a needle. Can't tell if I stuck that down or not. It's safer than pins and it's going to stay put and it, I don't have to take it out. So here I go. I'm going to make that cute little fold there and I'm going to stick that down. All right. So there you go. My piece is nice and tucked in like that. I got a cute little corner. I'm going to pull back on my binding and I'm going to put this back in place just like that. I have a stiletto handy if I needed to tuck anything in on top or on bottom. And now I can have my fix on. It's going to stitch in place for a second. And then we're back in business. Here we go. noticed I got to make sure that this stays flat. I don't want it to tuck up on itself. So keep an eye every once in a while. 